This segment of Outdoors in the Heartland is brought to you by Motor Guy, Never Stop, and Strike King, number one in fishing lures. The thing about this bait, you can even watch the end of my rod, lots and lots of vibration, and that's just strictly from that thumping, and as you see, it thumped pretty good, and it thumped on the other end. Not a big one. You know, this is what I talked about when I got here. Um, there's so many places along so many streams and rivers and ditches and creeks up and down the Mississippi, the Missouri, the Illinois, the Ohio. You get over in the midstreams of Missouri, and you, you know, they're all over the place. And these are wide open country. They're not getting pressured. Okay, buddy. Go tell your grandma. There he goes. You're loose. You're loose. We was nice to you. There he is. Incredible. We have hit a honey hole. This is what you call a honey hole. Again, not a big fish, but they are fun to catch. These fish will fight like a fish that's probably a pound bigger than them. Now, as you see, when we talked about Strike King package, a lot of their premium baits with a trailer hook. And when I say by trailer hook, this is a trailer hook. And I'm going to show you here. I'm going to put this little guy back here. And again, he's a little guy. But so many times in tournaments, I've, I've missed a lot of checks and cost me a lot of money. And as you see, I'm going to pull the skirt back on this little girl. A lot of times I use a piece of plastic surgical tubing. I'll use a bigger hook with a big eye, slide it over there, and see, it's got, it's got freedom to move, but it's amazing. Sometimes with that big skirt and that big bulk, they come up and they hit it short. Well, you've got another three inches sticking out there, and what happens too is not only sometimes you catch them on the front hook, you catch them on the back hook. Now, a little bit extra work sometimes to get both hooks out, but it's a beautiful thing when you can get them in the boat. There's another one right there. Now, if you look there, there's nothing out there except the jumping fish right now. Um, it's just a mud flat that I think these fish have pulled out. And this is a nice, this is a nice little keeper fish. Nice little keeper fish. Yeah. I would take five of them any day. And he's a pork chop. Now, she's either full of eggs or she is a glutton little pig that has been eaten really, really good. Look at the belly on her. What a little pig. I'll tell you what, there's a lot more of these to come. We'll right be back with more Outdoors in the Heartland right after this. Fishing on the river. Outdoors in the Heartland has been brought to you by Ford, your St. Louis Ford dealers, Mercury Marine, Motor Guy, Never Stop, Strike King, number one in fishing lures, Triton Boats, We Take America Fishing, and Gilbreth's Taxidermy the official taxidermist of Outdoors in the Heartland. Can you believe it? Bob and I have been doing Outdoors in the Heartland for almost 20 years. And Ford has been with us every step of the way. You know, when you drive 40 or 50,000 miles a year, you got to have something that's going to be dependable. There you go. You know, whether I was driving a Power Stroke diesel or the new EcoBoost six cylinder, which is totally incredible and it's stealing the truck world by storm, I can get over 20 miles a gallon driving on the highway. But then when I need to pull a heavy load, I got so much low end torque power, it's unbelievable. The thing I'm trying to say is stick with the people that support you. Ford supports the outdoors, hunting, fishing, outdoor recreations of all kind. Support them back. Next time you're looking for a car or truck, make sure you go where the big blue oval's at. And hey, tell them Bob and Larry sent you. This is one of the Strike King Rage Premium Plus jigs. What's different about it, it's a, two things. One, it's the bleeding series. In the bleeding series, red eyes, red nylon guard, and a red hook. But this jig also has a rattle chamber. And you can probably hear that rattle. Again, because I'm fishing 
pretty stained water sound to these bass is very important. I'm gonna take that same chunk that I've been throwing, put it on there, run it up in there with this rattle in this colored water here may make a difference. Of course, what's that rattle sound like? Will you ever put a crawdad in an aquarium and listen to it go through there as it pinches? Snap, snap, snap. It sounds just about like these rattles do on this jig, so. That's what we're trying to imitate. Oh, come on, everybody. Well, that guy liked the rattles. What a little chunker. What a chunky. You know, one thing I've found in throwing a, a jig, there's a lot of jigs that you can get bites with. There's just a lot of jigs that I cannot get a hook in them. And the way the eye is turned on these Strike King jigs, it seems to do what it's supposed to do. Put that jig right in the hard part, the roof of the mouth. ever heard me say this before I will say it again unbelievable you know whether they're two pounds three pounds five pounds to me I guess that's why I love the sport of fishing you know it's me taking my kids taking my granddaughter taking my kids taking somebody else's kid or taking my big kid friend Larry Woodward with me it's so much more fun when you can catch fish okay mm -hmm. So certain I came right across that lay down in there, exact same spot, and he was there. Fish. <clears throat> there we go again. Come up there, buddy. <laughs> Good fish, good fish, good fish. Stay on there, stay on there. That is a toad. That is a, that is a, we'll throw the show out with this guy if I can get him in both. <laughs> Never in my farthest imagination would I dream of catching a fish like this in here. Oh. That is unbelievable. Never in my farthest dream could I have caught an incredible, incredible fish like this. You know, this is something you dream of catching fish in a river like this. And you can see that fish has spawned out, got spots on her, tail is recuperating from bleeding from the spawn. She's got no belly, and that 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 is a normally would be a five-pound fish. What a beautiful thing. Well, you know, we talked about a lot of things today and why we ended up here in the river, going back off the river, in the sloughs, in the creeks, water dropping. There's these scenarios are all over the Midwest and you just gotta go search them out. But when you've got the conditions we've had, flash floods are dropping. This goes on all across the country. It will happen for the next weeks, will happen for the next months. And I think I'm gonna call it a day. So for my partner, Larry Woodward, I'm Bob Richardson. I'm gonna put this girl back. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Bob Richardson again, yes, good fishing. <laughs>